It's a beautiful day. Who cares if the sun is shining? You're dreaming away. Today we know we're taking time to look around and explore the world behind the open door. Lost in a day, there's no telling what may happen. You wander away. The next thing you find is adventure. It's time to explore the world behind the open door. There's a whole new like freedom and it's much better to let them go in the out of doors where they belong and where they find their own kind of food. Down on the beach we will find mussel shells and Mr. Raccoon lives here in the grass and in the shrubbery and he goes down at night to eat mussels for his supper. There's a whole new exposed, the mud is exposed, the sand is exposed, and we see all kinds of things down in the mud and under the rocks that we would never see otherwise. Look at your footprints that are in the mud. If it was solid mud, we would sink deeper, and every once in a while you do sink down and you're falling into a clam hole. Look at all the other things that have washed in. There's a seagull waiting to eat some trash that might come in because he's got a big job to do. There goes another gull, and there's a duck because the ducks are just beginning to come. They get tired out in the water once in a while, and they walk along the mud flats to rest. Mr. Clam, and he sticks his neck way up like this so he can get his food from the tide as it comes in. Look, look, he's squirting. He, <laughs> he got me. There it is. No, here he is. Look. Is he coming That's back? It. Oh, he's not that brave. Sometimes if you dig fast enough, you can get him. Clam, clam, because he goes down very, very fast. You got him? Yeah. Now feel the muscle along the edge there. Now feel the lines on the shell. This makes it a clam shell. Many years ago, the sand was all here and it was pressed together. Along came an earthquake, along came an uplift, and pushed the sand up and pressed it together. This is why we call it sand stone. Look over there on the shore. There's a gull. And just beyond the gull is a snowy egret. Now, he's standing in the water. He has long legs. Now, watch that egret. He doesn't stand still very long. He says, I'm looking for my food. And he wiggles his feet around in the mud so he can find a clam worm or he can find a little amphipod or isopod walking along there. Now, there's an egret that's bigger than that that has a yellow bill and black legs and black feet. And he has big wings, and he pulls the wings to him when he flies. And he is a common egret 
or America, Negret. And he's the one that has those very beautiful feathers that ladies used to wear in their hats. Pick a piece of this plant. Do you see that it looks like a lot of little pickles all joined together? Pickle weed. Now I'd like you to bite it and taste it. And can you taste the salt in it? Now I'd like you just to eat it. Because you can eat this just like spinach. And this plant grows wherever there's salt water. There are a lot of beetles down here. Let's look through the pickle weed and see who else lives here. Because the ants should be here. It's and the spider. Got a big spider? This is what Mrs. Meadowlark has for lunch. Isn't she beautiful? She's going to have all the little insects that live here. The tiny little flies that come by, she's going to have those for lunch. And she spins a beautiful web. And even Mr. Mouse can live here because I have found yeah. mouse tunnels through here. The mice wander all through here because then a hawk can't dive down and get them for lunch. Mm -hmm. I would like you to feel the top of this flower and tell me what do you find out about it? Sticky. It's sticky, yeah. isn't it? Now then, I'd like you to feel around the base of the flower and tell me what you find out about the base of the flower. Sticky. Squeeze it. It's sticky too. Because of this, it's called a gum plant. And you see where it's growing? It's just above the most of the salt water. But it says, I always like a lot of salt water around me. And so it's just at this level, above the pickleweed, that you'll find Someday you're going to go on a hike and you forgot your lunch and you're so hungry you think, oh, I think I'll just die if I don't get something to eat. You look around and find a dry stem like this of fennel, but be sure that you look at the leaf and see that it's like this and it tastes like liquid. And then take your dry stalk and peel off the outside. Then after you get it all peeled off, break off that pithy part, put it in your mouth, Take a dry seed and put it in your mouth and chew it with that pith, and that's Indian chewing gum. And chew it and chew it, and pretty soon you're not hungry anymore. In the winter time, our bay is full of migrating waterfowl, which are mostly ducks. Now, the first bird to come will be Mr. Coot. Now, next to come after Mr. Coot will be Mr. Pintail. Paint your heads all brown, put on your white shirt, put on your gray coat with a long pintail out in the back. And then this time, put on a big white canvas coat and put on a little black scarf around your throat and put a orange-brown stocking on your head and make a straight line from the top of your head down to the end of your nose, and then you're Mr. Canvasback. Let's see who lives here. There's Mr. Barnacle, Mr. Muscle Shell. Anybody home? Oh, look, a whole family of crabs. And isopods, too. There are little isopods. Hold your hand, and I'll flat, and I'll put an isopod in it. Hold your hand real still and see if Mr. Isopod will open up. He's scared, so he's all curled up like a ball. Oh, my guy opened. Hold him real still, watch him walk. Now he can't hop and he can't jump, he just walks. Mm -hmm. 
Look at Mr. Crab. Do you see that he is blowing bubbles? He says, some giant has hold of me, but the only thing I can do is to blow bubbles and sort of try to hide myself. So whenever you pick a crab up, you'll find him down on the ground. Put your finger in the middle of his back, and this will stop him. Then put your middle finger on one side and your thumb on the other and pick him straight up. When you turn over a crab and the bottom is flat like this, this is a mother crab. When you go to the beach and you find a rock, many things live under it, clams and crabs and periwinkles. And whenever you turn that rock over, after you see who lives there, be sure you turn it back, because that's the roof of that person's house. <laughs> Seeds are. Any space worth taking, there's a little lot making his home somewhere. Just a home somewhere. Everywhere. Mr. Raccoon in a little lagoon. Works in the night by the light of the moon to make a home somewhere. Just a home somewhere. Look at all the people building houses every day. Building them way down around the bay. Still in the middle of the worry and the hurry, the egret flies and the raccoon tries to make a home somewhere, just a home somewhere, to make a home somewhere, just a home somewhere, just a home somewhere. 